here and I have an unboxing video for you. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the 2016 May Loot Crate DX. This is the second month of the DX box. I was not super pleased with the first box. Some people liked it, some people didn't. But we'll see how this one goes. This box is really expensive. It's about $50 a month, I think. And uh, yeah, it follows the same theme as the regular Loot Crate, which was power this month. So I'm assuming the theme to this box is going to be power as well. If you're interested in getting this box, I'll go ahead and put all the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. Ah. This is what you're going to see. This is hard. Okay, this is what you're going to see. How does it look? <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> I almost bought one of these at Hot Topic over the weekend. Okay, let's do this. Here goes, oh. The first item is this hat. It's actually a pretty cool hat, except it's Captain America. I don't mind this. I'm just not a huge fan of Captain America. I actually might wear this hat though. I love the simplicity of it. I don't really look good in blue. I shouldn't put it on because, you know, if I end up not wanting it and I give it away or sell it, then I want it to be in pristine condition. But this is a Marvel licensed product and it's just a blue trucker hat. It is a Loot Crate exclusive. There's the adjustable back and the back of it has kind of just like a meshy design. That's not too bad. All right, the next item we have is, we'll just go ahead and do this. This is one of the giant die-cast metal Marvel figures. This is of Iron Man Mark V, and I love this. They, I saw that they sell these at Hot Topic. I didn't actually look at the price though, so I'll have to look it up. But this one's the big one, because they have different size ones. I think that, what size is this one? This one looks giant. Oh, there's a button. Oh. I thought I was gonna make noise or something. It just lights up. Okay, that's still cool. I'm assuming this is a six inch figure, I think. But there you go. These are the ones that are in the series. I don't know, I'm assuming everyone probably got this one. Unless you could get different characters, but these are all the ones that are in this series. All right, very nice. We have our Loot DX pin, and this is one that has Stanley on it that says POW! Which is the theme of power as well. And then, um, let's do this. Oh, so this is like a, oh, it's just a print. It's an art print and it's of the Hulk. It's like a profile of him. It's just cardstock that it's printed on, although it does look like it was nicely printed. It's a little bit 3D. I wonder if this is glow in the dark. I bet you this is probably glow in the dark. I think it is glow in the dark. So that's cool. That's cooler than what we normally get, which is just like, a print on a card stock, but you know, not the coolest in the world. All right, ooh, oh, I love this. This is probably my favorite item in the box. This is a duffel bag, and this is a Street Fighter Academy duffel bag. A wookin. I don't know how to say it. I always say a wookin, but I, I think that people say it differently. Wow, this is a nice bag, actually. So this bag is, it's a small duffel bag, but it's cool. It has um, a pocket for, usually, is this for shoes? Well, not for shoes. It's kind of just a pocket that doesn't really, it probably can't fit too much. It's like a dead end pocket. Uh, this side has, instead of a pocket, it has a mesh pouch that you can put a water bottle in. And then there's this front pocket that's similar to the side pocket where it just kind of is an, a flap. There's no like pen holders or anything like that. Oh, there's this another small little meshy thing here for water bottles and then gesture inside. Oh, I like this item though. And then the last item that we have is the shirt. This is a Master of the Masters of the Universe shirt. Medium. This it's a gray shirt. It's super soft. Oh, it's a long sleeve shirt. Okay. Skeletor. This is a Loot Crate exclusive. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the shirt. I like the feel of the shirt, but I'm not a huge, it kind of feels like a pajama shirt almost. It's very soft. Um, I just don't really like Masters of the Universe. Okay, let's go ahead and do our recap, and then afterwards we'll do some pricing. So I'm gonna do recap first. The first one we had is a six inch light up Iron Man figure. This is the die cast metal. It's, it's actually pretty heavy. It's definitely not light, and this is the one that lights up. Boom. Next, we had our, our pin, and this has Stanley on it. It says, POW. Then we had our Captain America Snapback. This is a BioWorld product. We had our Glow-in-the-Dark Hulk lith lithograph print. 
We had our long sleeve Skeletor t-shirt. And then the last item was our Street Fighter duffel bag. All right, let's go ahead and do some pricing. All right, guys, I got my calculators. Let's do this. Captain America hat. Um, I think I would give a normal hat around seven to nine dollars. You know, this is a licensed Marvel product, so I'll say I want to give it ten, but it, it might be a teeny bit more than that. I guess I'll give it eleven. I think that's I don't know. I'll try to price a little bit higher because I know a lot of you guys got mad at me last time. So I'm going to price a teeny bit higher. Just a teeny bit though, not a whole lot. Um, this The shirt, since it's long sleeve and it's extremely soft, I'm going to go ahead and give that 15 because that's kind of like a Loot Crate level up uh, wearable and we've gotten long sleeve shirts. So I'll say 15. The pin I'm going to give, it's a double pin so I'll give $4 to that. This print, I'm going to give this print $2. I usually just give these $1. Uh, if it was printed on a better type of Thicker, something thicker, maybe like a little foam board or something. I'd give it more, but it's not, so. All right, and then the last item is, oh no, not the last item, I'm sorry. The Iron Man figure. Now, at Hot Topic, they're selling these for $16, but they're $13 on sale, but that's for the four inch. This is a six inch. So I would say that I'm gonna give this, cause I know die cast figures are also very expensive and this one lights up. I, you probably could give it a lot more. I'm going to give it 20 which for me is definitely a little bit more overpriced. Although, you know what? I'm going to give it 21 I don't actually know how much this is worth. I'm going to give it 21 because I think that I got a bobblehead in my Ludicu box that I gave, I think, like $23, which I really liked. I like this, though. This is cool. Um, I'm sure you could give this more. I don't know how much it's going for online, but if the... If the 4-inch one was $13 at Hot Topic, then I can imagine that this is probably around 20-ish dollars. So I'll give, I'll be nice and give it 21. Now the duffel bag, I've purchased duffel bags before, I mean obviously. Um, this is a smaller duffel bag. I guess, I want to say I paid like $30 for a regular duffel bag that's bigger. This one's a little bit smaller. The pockets are a little bit funky on it. I would say that I, I, I wouldn't give this duffel bag any more than $15. I, that might be, you might be able to give it a few extra dollars, but I would be comfortable giving it $15. I think $20 is a little bit too much. You know, again, if the pockets were a little bit more organized in a better way, then I might do it, but you really can only use just the duffel bag portion of that. All right, guys, so according to my pricing, I think this box is worth about $68, which is way better than it was last time, although I know I underpriced really poorly last time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this pricing a little bit better. I do think I priced some of the items a little bit higher than I normally would, of course. I think how I priced it is about how much I'd pay. Now, honestly, for this long sleeve shirt, especially because I don't like the design, I wouldn't necessarily pay $15 for it, but I think it definitely could be worth $15. It's a little bit thin, though. Um, but, you know, I usually give short sleeve shirts $10, so I definitely think that's, that can be anywhere from $12 to $15. I aimed high, and I gave it $15 for you guys. So I think this box was $60. I paid $50 for it, which means that I got $18.00. Worth my value. Is that how much I paid for it? I paid 60. $45. Oh, that's not bad. Wait, that can't be right. For no, oh, my math is terrible. I need to fix this. It's $49. So it's for it's basically $50. So $49. Ooh, I had the pricing wrong on my description. Sorry about that. Uh okay, so $50. You get $18 extra on extra value on top of what you paid for, which is good. That's actually really good. Um, you know. I don't really know, I, I just started recently getting $50 boxes, so I don't really know what the ideal price is. I definitely know I want at least $10, but I would say probably at least $15, if not $20. I think $15 is like your normal, and $20 would make it a great box. So, good box. I actually really enjoyed this box because I liked the majority of the items in it. Honestly, I don't even mind this hat. Um, it's okay. You know, it's not of actual Captain America, so I guess I don't necessarily mind this as much as like, you know when you just get Captain America and have to stare at his face and I'm like, oh, I don't really like you Captain America. I love the duffel bag, I love the Iron Man figure, I actually like the Hulk print, um, I didn't like the shirt, that's probably the one item in this box that I really didn't like. Which means that this box actually was really great for me. Uh, if I had to rate it, I'd probably give it a 4 point... I'd probably, actually, this is going to be a really high rating because I actually really like this box. I'd give it a 4.5 out of 5 noobs. I liked everything in this box other than the shirt. I don't hate the shirt. I just don't really like the design because I'm not a huge fan of Masters of the Universe. So for me, that was kind of a eh. But everything else is actually pretty cool. Um, it would get... A higher rating if it had a teeny bit more value. I think I would be aiming for around the $20 mark and if I like the shirt better, which is not their fault. That's just me. That's my personal rating, not like a general rating. 
Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go ahead and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there. And you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this. Now, these special limited edition crate things, they definitely drive a lot of people to my channel, which is great. And it's hard because it drives a lot of new people to my channel, which they don't really fully understand you know, the way I price things or how I rate things, and so it's like a constant question of it. Um, I think I price this box a little bit more normal, I would say. I definitely think I priced high, but I also think that I still kind of kept it within my normal rating, so I think it's like a good mixture. Um, hopefully you guys were okay with that, and hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. What would you have rated it? Was my value too much? Was it too little still? What would you value this at? Let me know. Um, but I like this box a lot. I actually really enjoyed the contents in this box, which is good, because... Guys, remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions are blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great night. I'll see you guys later. Bye!